Hello and welcome along to another tutorial on Fusion 360 with your host uh, John Doherty aka DT Dynamo. Today we're going to look at a couple of different sketch tools, um, things you can use when you're drawing, uh, in particular um, the symmetry tool and how you might use that effectively. So we're going to get go ahead and start, we're going to look at the, the front plane first, <coughs> excuse me, and we are going to draw or create a sketch and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line up the middle of my central plane and I'm going to make that 100 millimeters in height very good now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw a line from the top over and that line is going to be 75 mil and then I am going to then draw a line down um, and I'm going to draw a line over probably about 20 millimeters and then I'm going to draw another line up. So I'm just doing a, a profile sketch, which hopefully will make sense in just a minute, 50 millimeters over. And I'm going to draw another line across. And now I have a 2D profile. And what I can also do there is I can add in, for example, a, a center rectangle, perhaps around, oh, actually we'll go with a, Two point rectangle, and I'm also going to draw in half a triangle and also I'm going to draw in another rectangle along here. Or half a rectangle. Now, what I have drawn here, or I've attempted to draw, is half of a sprite character, uh, the kind of thing we do with your sevens. And I must admit, it's a pretty basic one. But the idea is I've drawn half of it because what I can do next is I can go to sketch and then I can go to mirror and I can select objects that I would like to mirror. So I've select all of the lines, I can do so by holding shift down and selecting every line that I, want, that I want to mirror across. I want everything apart from my line of symmetry which is going to be along the central axis which I've just drawn in. So I've got a hold of the nose there and the eye and I think I am just going to zoom in because I'm missing a line or two. Just want to make sure I have all the lines. Brilliant. Once I've got the lines, I've got 17 lines, I go to mirror line and I select the mirror line and I press OK and there I have it my sprite character is complete in terms of the sketch. What I can do now is I can press stop sketch I can bring it back to the home tool, I'm going to get rid of this line here and now I can select my surface and I can press E for extrude and I can make that three millimeters thick so something like an acrylic and there I have a little sprite character very similar to what the year sevens do. Now just to sort of explore things in a little bit more detail what else I can do with that I can obviously go ahead and I can modify that so I could fillet it for example so I'm going to select the outside fillets here, here, here and I'm going to put a little radius of let's try one mil. One mil works quite well I could maybe up that a little bit to two mil. Let's try three mil, see what that looks like. The three mil looks pretty good, so I'm going to go with that. And it just gives it that nice round edge. And then I can bring it into the render area and I can start to change the appearance. So um, we would do this project, we would laser cut this out of acrylic. So if I click on appearance, So I'm back in the render area now and appearance has popped up, apologies about that. And now what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a plastic, so for example something like acrylic and I could select red for example 
and I can pull that in there like so and I can press close and you get the idea there as well it's rendered it red so we can have a look at that again so appearance um, maybe if we wanted to go for amber um, we can play around with the different the different colors there um, so that gives you a little bit of an idea of of the types of render that you can you can apply so we can go back out into model space and you can see that it's a little bit different in model space it's got that translucent element to it um, that acrylic will have so so that gives you an idea of where we're up to in terms of adding that render and it's a very simple way of drawing something using line, a line of symmetry a feature or a face or a design so hopefully that's helpful there thank you very much for listening